the thing about being an engineer is like it's at the end of the day it's just a grind just like every other grind yeah it's slavery just... namaste of kaswagat hat welcome to react file i'm harnoor and he is called today we are going to be reacting to the greatly anticipated aib honest engineering campus placements part three, three. yes so let's get started <laughs> लेकिन साले हमारे टीचर लोग खुद हिंदी में बात करते थे 
हमारे स्कूल के लड़के एक दूसरे से क्यों व्हाट्सएप तो ऐसे बात नहीं करते हैं हम ओवरऑल तेरा डांस कर रहे हैं ऐसे गले मिलते हैं किसी तरह रट्टा मार मार के मार मार के 10th तक पहुंचे तो पता चला कि जिंदगी में सफल होने के लिए एक ही तरीका है और वो है इंजीनियरिंग सब ये कहते मां-बाप टीचर लोग गली का वॉचमैन भी हमसे पूछता था और भैया कैसी चल रही है आपकी तैयारी भाग भाई तुमको क्या करना है इसलिए हमारे स्कूल के बच्चे हम सब पहुंच गए बकरों की तरह मैं आईआईटी मैं एनआईटी अरे जिस बच्चे ने अपने बाप को जलेबी तलते देखा है वो तो यही सोचेगा ना कि जिंदगी में पैसा ही सब कुछ है आई डिड नॉट चूज दिस इंजीनियरिंग लाइफ सर एंड नीदर डिड दिस इंजीनियरिंग लाइफ चूज मी इट वाज शॉट डाउन माय थ्रोट बाय माय टीचर्स व्हाइल माय हैंड्स वर टाइड टू माय बैग बाय माय फ्रेंड्स एंड माय पेरेंट्स वाचड इन साइलेंस के बाद दो साल लग गए इस कॉलेज में घुसने के लिए कोचिंग में निकाल दिए ना कुछ खेले ना कुछ सीखे और दो साल बाद जब यहाँ पहुंचे तो पता चला कि बड़े शहरों के कॉन्वेंट स्कूल के बड़े बच्चे जब अंग्रेजी में बात करते हैं तो मरे हुए फूल भी खिल उठते हैं हवा में ऑक्सीजन की मात्रा बढ़ जाती है इनकी अंग्रेजी सुन के और पूरे कॉलेज की लड़कियां इन इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग लड़कों को अपना जीवन साथी डॉट कॉम मान चुकी है तुझे क्या लगता है मुझे कभी लगा नहीं कि मैं अपनी अंग्रेजी पे काम करूं अपनी पर्सनालिटी पे काम करूं बहुत लगा ये चूतिया इंडस वाली सिविलाइजेशन का जो एजुकेशन सिस्टम बिठा के रखे हो जिसमें हर साल में दस सब्जेक्ट हर सब्जेक्ट में थियोरी प्रैक्टिकल वाइवा लैब वर्क एक्सटर्नल इंटरनल पेजर्स माइनर्स असाइनमेंट प्रोजेक्ट इसे गार्ड मार के रखी है हमारी महीनों तक नहाना भूल जाते हैं हम लोग और फिर हमारा परसेप्शन बना देते हो कि हम ऐसे ही रहना चाहते हैं अब इस साल में एक बार कल्चरल फेस्टिवल आता है एक बार उसके लिए भी प्रोफेसर से भीख मांगनी पड़ती है अरे बिना इंग्लिश बोले बिना लड़कियों से बात किए कौन जानू रहना चाहता है वैसे और टाइम जाए कुछ सीखने के लिए लगे पड़े कोडिंग सीखने तीन तीन लैंग्वेज सीख रहे हैं अलग अलग इंग्लिश छोड़ के लेकिन जब प्लेसमेंट की बात आई तो सबको एप्टीट्यूड चाहिए पर्सनैलिटी चाहिए इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग चाहिए It is not that we cannot speak English, sir. We are just very conscious of our diction and our pronunciation, and we are not confident to speak in front of anyone else. If the curriculum was a little bit diverse, if the engineering colleges in our country focused on our all-round development instead of functioning like a goddamn factory that is just mass-producing robots by killing their dreams and handing out degrees, I would not be sitting here in this pointless HR interview, the likes of which exist only in our country. Yes, no, sir. Bol diye maine char aur line angrezi mein. Ab bataiye. क्या मैं आपकी मल्टीनेशनल कंपनी के लायक हूं डू आई हैव द पोटेंशियल टू बी अ स्लेव ऑफ योर एस्टीम्ड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो रियल जीसस वाओ रिमाइंड्स मी ऑफ थ्री इडियट्स यू शुड वॉच इट वंस अगेन See in the story, huh? Yeah, and the writers are also, I mean, engineers, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, even the actors are engineers. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, it's just too real. Wow. Amazing. Wait, how do you have a 9.06 It's out of 10. 10. Yeah, in India. So is a 9. A 9 would be good, right? Yeah. That would, yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. it's not failing. It's, yeah. not, it's not even average, right? Yeah, just like we need at least 3 GPA out of 4 to get a good internship or job. Like, people in India, they need minimum 7.5. I mean, not if you go to this school. You need at least a 4. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wow. Yeah, you know, I will say the, the first one was definitely the funniest one, and it just got even more real and even more dark and uh-huh. even more real towards towards the end. Yeah, it wasn't even... You have to have a, a truly dark sense of humor, I think, to appreciate this one, which I do. So I thought it was I thought it was pretty funny. I thought yep. I had it the moments. Yeah. Yeah. The most relatable part for me is the interview, because I haven't reached at a point that I'm an engineer. I mean, I'm... An, I'm just a student right now, so I have been to thoughts of interviews. So, I mean, all of them are almost the same. Like <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I think I think this subject was covered also in the earlier ones, where it's like the technical question about the thing that you don't know anything about. And it's like, that's so ubiquitous. Obviously, <laughs> even it doesn't matter what country you're in. You know, it's like that. that's happened to me more than once. That happened to me earlier this week. So oh. it happens. <laughs> it happens all the time. Um, yeah, and the self-esteem thing, honestly, I, I feel like that could have been done a little bit better. But <laughs> that was hilarious. I feel like that could have been done a little bit better. But yeah, the, the, the concept I, I thought was pretty funny. Yep. Yeah, the concept was pretty funny. Yep, and also at most of the interviews that I have attended, they require like better communication skills and they want us to be like depict our passion really well. So if we are more passionate and even though if you have a little bit less experience, they're ready to hire us. And Tell me about the English thing, because obviously I can't in any way relate to that. Yeah, so like he was trying to say that in colleges, they're not taught us like how to communicate with HR people and how to be confident, like presentation skills. They're taught some presentation skills for sure, but they're not that confident because they always talk in Hindi. So even in schools, he was saying that professors and teachers used to talk with in Hindi with him. So Yeah, that's something I've noticed here i think that is also the case where they don't have like a public speaking course that's required i mean they 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 make you give presentations but yeah when i was in high school we had a public speaking class that was like a whole semester and that's all we did um i thought i thought i learned a lot in that class so i feel like yeah especially if you're a foreign speaker i mean if english isn't your first language and you have to give like a technical interview in english I could see that being, yeah, I could see that being stressful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, something to think about, India. Yeah. Yeah, something to think about, you guys. Yeah. And also in the final year in Indian colleges, I have heard from my friends, and they just have like two or three courses remaining. So, like, they can obviously introduce a public speaking course, but they don't. I mean, they should. Oh, so it's it's not like they only have two much more intense classes. It's like they have free time. Yeah, they do. Sure. Yeah, yeah, that's worth considering. Yeah, yeah, that's worth considering. Yep, even in IITs, they do. I mean, my friend has an IIT, so he told me that. What is that? IIT? Like, those are the best engineering colleges in India. Oh, an NIT? IIT. But there was another one, NIT. NIT, yeah, that's the second best. What, are that, what Does that stand for something? It has to, right? Yeah, it has to be, but I don't remember at the moment, so. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. But at least we know the acronyms. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and also I think our future is also we do the same. Stupid client, stupid junior, and stupid boss. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the thing about being an engineer is like it's at the end of the day it's just a grind, just like every other grind. Yeah, it's slavery. Just, hopefully the subject matter is more interesting than it would be if you were working in like HR or something. I mean, that's my dream. My dream is just to do something interesting. And I don't, yeah. I don't care about it being hard. I know I'm going to have a shitty boss. I know I'm going to be stuck in the corporate rat race i mean that's life you know but if i could just do something interesting personally that would be challenging personally Mm -hmm. then that would be enough i think for me yep for me i think if i if i'm able to do a good startup and work for my own company at my own time i don't want to be like a slave (laughs) so like engineering (laughs) if i could just be my own boss and make a lot of money then that would be fine yeah yeah that's what okay great hornor great modest yep. as usual yeah after doing like internships and stuff 
I have realized that engineering is not my thing at all. It, I, I also, I took it because like we were given a list of safe and secure jobs and I found engineering really interesting and I was really passionate about technology. I think our school should have made us explore to the other fields that exist. Like they, they could have like given us some public speaking courses. They could have like inspired us to become a YouTuber make a website like the, these startup <laughs> ideas it, how to be a youtuber 101 yeah like, uh let me let me ask you this like because here in america i feel like there's especially for i don't want to say natives but yeah. like non-south asian and non-east asian people i feel like there's very little pressure to enter the hard sciences as a student but is that the case in india or is it like everybody is expected to be in IT and engineering? No, it's not that they want to be. I mean, just imagine that you are in school in India and you're given like these options and you find that you found out, uh, you, you found out that this option has like secure job, highest salary, and you just need to study for four years. On the other hand, doctor, you need to study a lot and salary is not that much immediately. Like you look at these options, only when you when you're in high I'm not school. talking about the way you personally interpreted it. I'm yeah. talking about in the society in general. Yeah. Do you think that there is more pressure on Indian children to enter the hard sciences versus here in the States? Yeah, there is. You don't have to whisper. Just, there is, just, there is. just tell me. <laughs> this is an honest question. There so is. yeah, because I think I think for many years here in the States it was the 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 general advice was to follow your passion and that you know the money is less important or the money is less significant so you know for example i myself have a have an undergraduate degree in international relations so you know and 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 i was able to find work in that area i just ultimately realized that it was like not challenging enough for me mentally like to do that work um so it is still my passion obviously or else i wouldn't be doing this channel but like I feel like I feel like that advice is also somewhat wrong. The the truth is probably somewhere in between, I think. You know, mm -hmm. it's like is it a good idea to follow your passion? Sometimes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is it is it is it a good idea to follow the opportunity yeah. of the world at large? Yeah, I think that is in general better advice. Mm -hmm. I mean, otherwise I wouldn't be here. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Last thing I would like to say that Indian schools should explore us more towards other fields. They should like teach us more languages like Spanish, French. They should give, give us options. They should also introduce martial arts, Telugu. karate. <laughs> Surely, yeah. Like, <laughs> all Indian languages can be in that list as well. Yeah, so like martial arts, I, I really like karate. So I will, I will, I mean, I've started doing karate as well. So like if they can increase the fields so that students can explore more, then that will be a good idea. There's one thing I, I appreciate about the American education system is the, the value is very evenly dispersed um, on the different subjects that are taught. And, the, and, the, and there, is a, there is a broad swath of subjects that are taught. You know, the arts, languages to a lesser degree, but I mean, it's there. I mean, if you really want to, you could take Spanish and French and Italian, or, or Latin rather, at least where I grew up. Um, yeah, and there's really, from the school or from society, there's no, I don't think, any greater pressure to study the sciences versus the liberal arts, for example. Um, that is one thing I value tremendously about the American education system. I just think that it's, it's perhaps gone a little bit too far in terms of its promises of being able to find good jobs no matter what you study. Mm -hmm. That's really my only criticism of it. So. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and we will see you guys in the next one. Namaste. Goodbye. These videos, like on five of our videos. So Is like, my face really that oily? No, I, I looked at it in the mirror. Does it seem oily? No. Listen. It looks oily. Sorry. You Sorry. fucking apologized to me. You fucking apologized to me right now. <laughs> Open my CD tray. <laughs> okay. So. Didn't look oily in the mirror. It feels oily when I...